Indeterminate music, or chance music, or aleatoric music, is music that leaves some element up to chance or randomness. In the way that serial music is based on the tone row, and that total serial music is based on multiple predetermined parameters, indeterminate music leaves many of those decisions up to random chance, or random procedure. A common method simply involves flipping a coin. Heads do this. Tails do that. Rolling dice is another common way to generate random numbers. Of all the composers known for incorporating this type of chance in their compositions, John Cage is perhaps the most well-known. Before we get to that, here's a taste of what composing indeterminate music is like. The previous explanation of indeterminate music was presented in an expected order. But what if that order were manipulated, by chance, such that segments of the explanation were presented in a randomized order? Up in the corner, you'll see a six-sided die being rolled which will determine the order of the six sections I have divided the previous explanation into. Obviously there will be repeats, but the example will continue until all six segments have been heard. Indeterminate music, or chance music, or aleatoric music, is music this. Tails do that. Rolling dice is another common way to generate random numbers. This. Tails do that. Rolling Dice is another common way to generate random numbers. Based on the tone row, and that total serial music is based on multiple predetermined parameters. Based on the tone row, and that total serial music is based on multiple predetermined parameters. Tails do that. Rolling dice is another common way to generate random numbers. Indeterminate music leaves many of those decisions up to random chance or random. Tails do that. Rolling dice is another common way to generate random numbers that leaves some element up to chance or randomness. In the way that serial music is based, tails do that. Rolling dice is another common way to generate random numbers. Procedure. A common method simply involves flipping a coin. Heads do this. What you're listening to now is a piece by John Cage called Music of Changes. This was Cage's first change, if you will, into composing with chance music and using chance procedures. The piece is fully notated. Everything you're hearing is intimately and intricately notated and purposefully written, but all of the notes and all of the rhythms and all of the tempos and all of the dynamics were determined via the Chinese Book of Changes, also known as the I Ching. This was a book that Cage became fascinated with and used in many compositions in a way to determine what the order of pitches should be. So in many ways, what you're hearing shares a lot in common with serial music, except here the order of the notes is not predetermined in any way but the order of the notes is randomized, but still Cage is using this randomized order and this randomized ordering of musical elements in order to compose a longer piece. One might summarize what's happening here as simply if a total serial work like semi-simple variations we've looked at in class sounds random when it's heard, why not then just fully make the piece and the ordering of the notes and elements in the piece random as well? And that's sort of the philosophy that Cage had, to put it in an overly simplistic way. While the random and chance procedures used in Music of Changes are fixed on the score and unchanging from performance to performance, there are pieces, by Cage and others, that allow for chance to occur during performance, with the performer choosing when to do certain elements and what elements to perform. One example of this is a piece by Terry Riley called In C. In C is for a undetermined amount of players, but everyone in the ensemble reads from the same score. On the score, seen here, are several cells, 
and each player is invited to play a cell and repeat it for a certain number of minutes or times or repeats before moving on to the next one. And players are encouraged to try to get away from the other players so that you're not always playing the same thing or that you're not always within a certain number of cells of other people playing. In that way, each performance becomes unique and therefore indeterminate. So the length from performance to performance will change, the sound from performance to performance will change, etc. Essentially a chance procedure.